Welcome to the Exit Only Theater Podcast. I'm Adrian Alderet. I'm doing a special video because there was some pretty big news that dropped today. Uh, there was a video by Ben Affleck uh, showing what looks to be Deathstroke. For those of you familiar with DC Comics, uh, Deathstroke, uh, for those of you not familiar with DC Comics, is Deathstroke is this super awesome, unbeatable assassin. Uh, imagine Will Smith's Deadshot, but actually cool and badass. Um, so basically what the video shows, it just shows, it looks like test footage. It looks like they're on location testing this kind of the look of Deathstroke, which is really cool. I think the idea of having Deathstroke in a live action movie is pretty awesome. The only thing that I'm kind of hoping for, and this is kind of where I do the breakdown of like what this could mean, if this, if Deathstroke is the main antagonist for the solo Batman movie, then I'm excited. And hopefully, you know, Matt Damon would be Deathstroke, you know, that'd be kind of cool too, because Ben, uh, ben Affleck versus Matt Damon would be kind of awesome. But, what does it mean? Okay, so first, let's just take it as it is. Right now, they're shooting Justice League, so it, to me tells me that, you know what, they're not going to be doing test footage for a solo Batman movie that hasn't really had an announcement as to when it's going to be released. So this kind of hints that it's going to, he might make a cameo in Justice League, which is okay, but the problem I have with that is just that it's Zack Snyder, whole, like, he's going to be messing around with the character, and as we saw with Batman v Superman, the more, well, anytime you give him anything, he's probably going to struggle with it, especially with a character that he's like, oh, let's give him an awesome, uh, like, scene or something like that. So he'll probably have too much time devoted to him. But that's speculation, whatever. Um, going forward, it's awesome that we get kind of like this, like, a, a human-based villain. Not necessarily somebody that's this all-powerful being from outer space or from, like, some other dimension or anything like that. I think that's pretty cool. But, uh... As far as like, let's for instance, let's assume that that's the final look of Deathstroke that we're gonna get. He looks like shit, to be honest with me. And to be honest with you, it looks like something out of a video game. Uh, obviously, yeah, you know, if they're doing test footage, it's just the shell of a suit. That's cool. Um, but going forward, you know, just to kind of not to ramble on, it's really exciting news. It's definitely cool to see that character being brought to life. I hope he's only in the solo Batman movie because, as you, for those of you that saw Suicide Squad, Joker is. Hell, he's not even close to a match to this Batman. This Batman kills people. Joker just makes snarling noises. Like, that's kind of, it's lame. So, you need to have a villain that could kind of muscle up and, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Batman of, of Ben Affleck. And I think if you introduce that character, you have somebody that could totally, totally hold his own against him. That could outthink him and out-muscle out him, which is going to be really cool to see on screen if that's the case that what we see. Um, but, you know... To kind of round it out, for those that you that saw Suicide Squad, yeah, some of you liked it. You know that's cool, but I thought it was just I thought it was just very cheap. Right, it felt like a Big Mac when we expected something unique, and it just what didn't really leave us very much satisfied. So I can't really go forward into thinking like, oh God, they're gonna make the perfect Deathstroke or they're gonna make the perfect Batman v Deathstroke movie. Uh, I kind of just take this with a grain of salt. It's cool that we see the character, but at the same time, it's just like, well, I'll believe it when I see it kind of a thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I just wanted to comment on that because I know a lot of people have like crazy opinions about that right now. Um, again, like to kind of give you guys an update about what uh, Exit Only Theater is going through right now. We're still kind of transitioning right now. Both Jen and I moved to Los Angeles, so we're still kind of getting our feet settled in. Um, but hopefully within the next few weeks, I know I keep saying that, but in the, hopefully in the next few weeks we can start getting the gears going and maybe putting out some random videos here and there. But stay tuned. Anytime there's a big, big news story, feel free to shoot me a note. And if you guys think it's a big enough deal, we'll comment on it. Like that's the way we, uh, that's the way we work. So I thought this was pretty big. So I figured enough of you guys are going to hate on me. So might as well make a video about it. So yeah. Thanks you guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Keep uh, keep close to the page to keep uh, up to date with news and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys around. Bye.